Hi, my name is Maria Druska and it is my little vlog, Cave After Dark, where I'm sharing the most important news that have happened over the day. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel if you want to learn more about the life during the war. So let's start. After a ceremony honoring the Russian military, you know, those ones who are killing civilians in Ukraine, a visibly drunk Putin admitted that Russia was purposefully attacking Ukraine's energy facilities as revenge for attacks on the Crimean bridge. Due to the fact that Ukraine allegedly blew up power lines from the Kursk nuclear power plant and that it does not supply water to Donetsk. Was he talking about that Donetsk that they have occupied since 2014 or am I confusing something? That is, it is normal to start a war in 2014 and then say that Ukraine should not defend itself and its independence. And that is justification for launching a hundreds missile the day with the goal of making people freeze and die in water from cold and lack of water. Um, it seems to me that someone should write a book about Putin's 100 crazy speeches and fit it to the Russian people with a side of Vatnik sauce. Anyway, Russian dictator Vladimir Putin deservedly received the title of loser of the year according to Politico, while of course Ukraine's own Volodymyr Zelensky received Times Person of the Year. Moving on. The Bundestag's Defense Committee says the U.S. supports the transfer of German Leopard to Battle Town, to Ukraine. I think it's good political sign and hopefully Germany will act accordingly to this in the nearest future. And then maybe even some Abrams tanks from the U.S. to help armed forces of Ukraine capture and hold more ground. Uh, compared to the old Soviet area tanks that defenders of Ukraine are currently operate on. Um, moving on, a few days ago in the Donetsk region it was reported that Russian military servicemen of the Russian occupation deserted their combat positions. Among them 13 out of 21 were recruited by Wagner from prisons. The command of the Russian occupation troops um, found them and then executed them. Moving on, President Volodymyr Zelensky reminded that at once the key hotspots in Donbas, Solidar and Bakhmut, where Russia threw 2,000 convicts for support. These are convicts with long sentence for serious crimes. They are kept at the front not only with money, but also with the promise of amnesty and with the punishment of death if they retreat. Should I remind you that Russia is a terrorist country? Anyway, uh, Orban. Orban once again disgrace the European Union. According to the Financial Times, Hungary opposed the new package of sanctions against Russia. Also, it did not support the proposal to double the EU fund from which the supply of weapons to Ukraine is financed. Hungary uses the biggest weapon. It has the right to veto any EU decision. A little earlier, Hungary blocked an aid package worth 18 million euros to Ukraine. Um, probably every day in my Twitter, I remind you who Orban 
and his Hungary are. It's clear that he is trying to blackmail the EU to give him the 13 billion that the EU previously blocked from transferring to Hungary due to the violation of the rule of law in his country. Um, everyone is sick of Orban. He's direct puppet of Putin and he should not be the leader of supposedly democratic country in the European Union. And I will end with the quote of the day from the Secretary of National Security and Defense Council of Ukraine. To end the war in Ukraine, we don't need to be sad in the negotiation table. Capitulation of Putin can be accepted standing. Thank you for watching Kyiv After Dark. Ukraine is moving to its victory. Everything will be okay. In the worst case scenario, it won't. Slava Ukraine!